question. Could you repeat uh, sorry, the question? The second question. Okay. It's uh, well, when you were in Europe, how many times you walk every day? Uh, it was a walking tour. Okay. <laughs> so how many times you are walking every day here? Not a lot. I average average uh, person. Well, I we we I find the closest place to park here. Um, and we eat as much as we wanted. So there are two problems. All the time, we are eating too much and we are not burning the calorie. That's the, I mean, that's beside of the 10% genetic obesity, the other 90% 90, 90 are environment. And as the fast food restaurant, they are going to start to grow in Europe and China and everywhere else. The data they are suggesting, they are going the way that we started 30 years ago. So pretty soon it is global obesity problem, but it hit us a lot faster and sooner here. So I think that the solution for that, education also make sure that we understand the problem. If we don't understand it, we go to a doctor, we get the drugs, we lose weight for a while, go back again to the same routines. So I think it's educating ourselves about the dangers of diseases and losing life. I think that's where that it has to be a, a lot of education. Other than that, I have seen people, they have uh, lost 100 pounds. And they are coming back again. But let's not to forget the number of the cell, fat, fat cell, in the body never change. All they do, the content goes up and down. So if we are not serious about the problem, that is going to come back again. Um, I'd like to address more the first question. And um, the bottom line is the same for everybody. If you take in too many calories and you don't expend them, your weight will go up. Now, what causes that is the key. And it's going to be different for different people. So there can be a low metabolism for some reason. And that can be caused by being very sedentary. There can be genetic causes because there are certainly chromosomal abnormalities um, or hormonal abnormalities that can do that. Um, then in addition to that, you can be caused by certain types of medications um, to rev up your appetite, such as oral steroids, uh, certain types of antipsychotics. Um, there's a lot of different medications that can cause that. Even a tonsil and adenoidectomy can cause a physiologic response to cause abnormal weight gain. So there's a lot of factors there. In addition to that, the psychological factors can also lead to abnormal weight gain, and I've seen it many times, um, such as the death of a parent, or even um, so many people that I've seen in my practice have come from New Orleans and were Katrina survivors, and the um, sheer enormity uh, and combination of being displaced, losing family members to death, having to start in a new culture and a new school, really was overwhelming and they really had a lot of abnormal eating behaviors because of that. So um, that can be a factor. But really the biggest thing, uh, if you had to name one, was taking in too many calories. Um, really people put a lot of emphasis on physical activity and um, the research does not support that because what physical activity will do, uh, better than anything, will prevent re-weight gain better, but it will not cause weight loss as much if somebody's already overweight. Now, if somebody's extremely sedentary, then that will lower your metabolic rate to a certain extent because you don't have the muscle mass there that will make you metabolically active. Skipping breakfast, 
lowers your metabolic rate too and then pushes your calorie your caloric intake to the end of the day when you're not going to burn those calories off so then you'll store them as fat so there's a lot of factors there's a lot of research to support those things and that's why we have a lot of you know key points that we try to help people change their lifestyle to eating breakfast to getting that regular exercise and it's not the exercise and burning the calories that makes you lose weight it's building the muscle tissue even while you're asleep you'll burn calories more 